Hey guys, how's it going? Um, my name's Chris. Firstly, thanks for checking the video out. This is a little chromatic um, exercise that I like using. It really helps with building up speed as well. For example, you know when you see um, like Dimebag, uh, Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, Hanneman, all the greats like ripping their guitar in two, but it doesn't look like their fingers are moving so much. It looks like you're thinking, how the hell are you doing that? But when you're playing, you can't over accentuate speed, so just try to move things as fast as possible. Sometimes it doesn't sound like it's moving at all. Um, so, this little technique is really helping with keeping your fingers as close to the board because obviously, the closer you put your fingers to the board, the less space you need to move between the fingers as well. So, the faster you can play. Um, again, chromatic scales chromatic is a like, semi tone scale, half note, half tone. It's basically every note on the board. So, this kind of technique or any kind of chromatic technique can be played anywhere on, on the fretboard, wherever you feel comfortable. Um, so, let's start. Firstly, I'm tuned to C sharp, C sharp standard. Um, if you're playing an E, you can start off, if you want to play note for note, you can start off with the 4th fret on the 2nd string. Um, C sharp, but again, as I say, you don't have to, it's just chromatic, so you can play wherever. So right, the first thing I'm going to do is get my 1st finger, I'm going to put it on the 1st fret. Then still holding it down, I'm going to get my 2nd finger, I'm going to put it on the 2nd fret. So now I'm holding both frets down. Same, I'm going to do with the 3rd finger. So I'm holding 3 frets down, and a 4th finger. So, all four of them being held down, and the only note you can hear is a fourth fret. So, from this position, I'm going to move my fingers individually to the string below, to the next fret. So, for example, I'm going to lift my first finger off and put it on the next fret and the next string, still keeping all of these ones held down as well. And then I'm going to do the same with the second finger. Again, still holding all the frets down. Third finger. Finally, I'm going to do my little finger to the string below. So all together it's going to sound like... Still holding down. And we're going to ascend, so we're going to carry on going up and forth. In the same position. Hold all of them down as you go. And again, slowly, 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 so you can hear every note ring out. Until you get to last. The last note, which is the fourth fret, the little finger. So from this position, again, still holding all the frets down, I'm going to move up a semitone, half note, i.e. to the next fret, to the fifth fret. So I've got my little finger here. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to ascend, but I'm going to go back down the board. So all we're doing is reversing it. So from this position, I'm going to lift my little finger, sorry, my first finger, onto the second fret, so the fret below. And again, the second finger, then with the third finger, Hold all the frets down still, and the fourth finger. So again, it'll be from here. So the little finger there, and then I'm going to go to the string below. Holding all the frets down, and I'm going to carry on down the board. So, until you get to the first, first string, and you're on the fifth fret. Four. There you go, from that position. And again, I'm holding all the fingers down, all the frets down still. You're going to move up. To the next fret, I'm going to carry on down. Three, four, five, six, hold them. Three, four, five, six. And eventually, when you start picking up speed, you get a bit slow, but when you start picking up speed, and you get a little bit more clarity. You can start speeding up, but it's it's a little chromatic technique that you can work anywhere on the board as well. It really helps with keeping your fingers close to the board, so when you start doing little scales and that kind of stuff, it sounds a little bit faster. So you're not trying to do yourself a bit of damage, trying to over accentuate playing. Um, as I say, loads of little chromatic scales out there. This is one that I like to use, so hope it helps and uh, enjoy. Cheers for checking.